Hey, this is JC's Comics and More, your pop culture superstore at 6725 West Central Avenue, it's Toledo, Ohio, 43617, 419-531-6097. JC's Comics and More at Hotmail.com and find us uh, on Facebook in the link below. Uh, that's that massive carnage figure that came in last week. Just to put it in perspective, it's box is taller than two pop figures put on each other and it's certainly about four about four pop figures wide uh, on this here but we're not here to talk about that we're here to talk about some of this new merchandise and some pops and we're gonna have a lot of uh, Black Adam and Doctor Strange uh, method to his madness pops coming in next week here we got Ben Ben Opie uh, Ben uh, Kenobi on uh, was it Opie Opie from uh, from, uh, from Mayberry. Look at him. That's Opie these days. But here's a couple more of the uh, Obi Wan po po pops. You got Obi Wan, Obi Wan Kenobi, and you've got Darth Vader there next. And we also we've got something really really cool that I'm going to we're going to show last. The coolest thing I'm going to show last. But this is pretty damn cool. Uh, Toonie Terrors, um, this is the Halloween season of the witch, the Halloween three season of the witch. I don't know if they've really ever done much action figures based on season of the witch. This might be one of the very first or hell, who knows? It might be the first. It can't be the first. There has to be <coughs> some other figures or something made from season of the witch. You guys let me know in the uh, comments below. I was so disappointed by that film because you had the two Michael Myers. This was nothing like it. We're like, we're going in a completely different direction. You're on a super highway and all of a sudden you're on a dirt stone road back in uh, Hicksville. Um, and there's a Hicksville, Ohio. So, uh, so if you just thought I made that up. Here is American Werewolf in London. You've got Jack Goodman and you've got a, the Kessler Wolf. It's really hard to see with the glare from the... Uh, from um, from the lights with these these windows you know, displaying the action figures, but don't worry. There's a company that has decided they're no longer putting the windows for you to display your figures, so that might cut into their sales somewhat. Could you imagine if these pops? That's all you saw with Darth Vader. Would you guys still be buying these pops if it was just the picture, just the picture on the front? Um, but we'll move on to the next item. We've got, this is pretty damn cool, but it's not the coolest thing this week. Well, it's, 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 it's real damn cool, but it's not the thing I want to highlight. Uh, Boris Karloff as the mummy. This is the ultimate mummy figure. I know my friend uh, down at uh, uh, Monster Kid Studios. Go to monsterkidstudios.com. Also check out his YouTube channel. He shows the old movies and stuff. My old Navy buddy, Rich Savage, down there in uh, down in Florida. There, look at that. There, he loves this stuff as much as I do. He probably loves it more because uh, he's turned a YouTube channel into it. But look at this. Look at this bar on Boris Karloff. Almost looks like Steve Ditko. Steve Ditko drawing. But pretty damn cool. So we got Karloff. I was just telling somebody last week that these were coming in. Let me grab, let me pause and grab the next item. From Super 7, we've got the Mighty 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 Power Morphin Power Rangers. This is a what, Dragon Zod. Dragon Zord. This is Dragon Zord. Pretty, pretty cool looking figure though. Yeah. Look at him. You gotta try Ceratops on the on the feet there. It's got the saber tooth tiger. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty damn cool. Uh, we've also got the Pacific Rim. Uh, this is the Kaiju drone figure. Pacific Rim Uprising figures. There's that right there. And again, we've got photos on the shop's Facebook page right now. Uh, McFarlane DC Toys. This is the Dark Knight Returns based on Frank Miller and Frank's artwork or the cartoon. 
this certainly has a Frank Miller look to it. And I told somebody else that if you look at Superman, it looks like he's Dan Smith from American Dad. You can see him. You can see him playing. Look at that jaw. Look at that there. You can see him uh, getting after Roger and, and, and doing stuff to Francine. And Steve uh, and his buddies, Koji and, and the fat kid, uh, Barry. My name's Barry. What's your dad's first name? Dad. Uh, he's like American Dad's version of uh, Ralph. But he's pretty smart when he's not on his meds. And of course, Knott's in there too. Uh, this is Carrie. And this is the build. You get to build the horse. You buy all the parts. She's got the, uh, she's got the, the torso and the butt and everything. So she's got the good parts. Superman has the back legs. Joker has the head. Of course the Joker would have the head because you're going to find that head in your bed. Look at him. Again, based on Frank Miller, he's a more beefier Joker. You know, when you, know, you get older, you tend to put on, uh, put on the pounds. But he's still wearing them styling purple shoes, though, man. Very, very cool figures from McFarlane. Damn sure. And here you got Batman. And again, he's really beefed up the pounds he needs to go on uh, some one of those uh, gluten-free diets look at him he's seen better days hard to tell he's only 29 all right we're gonna pause and grab the next cool item these are some pretty cool items here Robocop 2 I guess that's what Robocane Look at this. Pretty damn cool. These things are not cheap, uh, but still pretty damn cool. Got Robocane, and then we've got, yeah, we've got Ed 209. Look at him. The future. The future of law enforcement. I wonder. It, it should be. They want to make this a cool figure. Put all these empty shell casings that you can just scatter around his feet. There should be empty shell cases. If there's not, somebody needs to be taken out to the woodshed and uh, and have bad stuff happen to his children. Because that's a given there. You need to have shell cases. Because look at that. You've got it, you've got it just you know, you've got it shown that way, you know that it's badass. Because as he's as he's blowing off all those all those rounds, those shells are just coming out. Look how cool that is. And look, this is well, no wonder this is cool. This is uh this artwork is by Jason uh, uh Jason is Jason Peterson. Uh he works he worked for Marvel. Uh he's a great artist. I'm I'm sorry if I can't I can't remember your name right at the top of my head there, Jason. Um I, I just wasn't expecting to see in it. But we're gonna pause and I'm gonna show you the thing, the company that is no longer putting windows so you can see their cool figures. Ah, I looked at the bottom of the box. I stand corrected who the Jason is, but he, uh, I can swear he does his name like, like Jason. Maybe I'm getting him confused, but Jason Ed Miston. I'm um, sorry about that, Jason, getting you uh, confused there. God, 1987, that's when that movie came out already. Wow. All right, we're going to pause again. I just had to, uh, had to correct myself. I was wrong. Here we go, got the Marvel Legends Iron Spider figure in. Be a really cool looking figure, right? I mean, the picture's okay. Be really cool to see it, to see what it actually looks like, right? 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 No, this is what you get. This is what Hasbro is doing now. I had a, I've got a friend of mine that's a big Star Wars collector. He told me that they're going to be doing the Star Wars soon. There you go. You don't see what it looks like. You don't know if those if those uh, waddles are broken or not. I wonder in the comments below. Do you collect figures? Do you collect Marvel figures? Are you going to continue to collect Marvel figures? Let me know, please. I need you guys to comment. I need comments and blow. This is this is this is important because this is going to uh, determine whether or not I continue buying or buy as many as I was buying. Of uh, the Marvel Legends figures. I think this is a bad, bad mistake. You know, they're all doing it for the environment. 
believe me, there's lots more things that you do than a than a piece of plastic that goes in front of an, an action figure box. Believe me. Now, the coolest thing this week. I'm getting it right now. It comes in this this here. Thermos inside. This is a uh, Diamond Previews exclusive. Here's a lunchbox. The last Ronin lunchbox. Unfortunately, there's nothing on the side. To me, this is a wasted, wasted opportunity. This is real estate that you guys are wasting. However, it is embossed. And it is real metal or tin or aluminum or whatever you want to call it. That and does have a thermos. Let's pull it off the top. There you go. Put your hot beverage in there or put your Code beverage, or put uh, put some put some uh, you know bourbon in there or something uh, for a cold winter nights as you're a Ronin. But you're like that's that's pretty damn cool. It is, but that's not the coolest thing. Put this down. Put put that back on it. I get this other item. What could be cooler than the last Roman? Hmm. What could be cooler than the last Ronin? The original Turtles by Eastman and Laird. And they didn't miss the moment. Look at the sides. Look at the top bottom again you can find more pictures on the shops uh, Facebook page and again it's embossed look at that how cool is that somebody ingenious could uh, make uh, castings of that for like cookies or something here's there it is there's the thermos I'm not gonna open this one up Come face your doom. Foot. Foot, join me. Yes. Come face your doom. Foot, join me. Oh, man. I don't have a whole lot of these turtles lunch boxes. I don't have a whole lot available. But uh, we do have some. I believe they're 20 five dollars each they might be 30 but i believe they're 25 dollars each they might be available for me to reorder if i do sell out but that is the coolest item i think this week the mummy's damn close and there's a couple other things damn close but i think that's the coolest damn item i want to see more lunch boxes i want to see a creature of the black lagoon lunch box i want to see I would, i'd like to see the deadly manis or the valley guanji lunch box some of the Ray Harryhausen dinosaur lunch boxes, 1 million BC. That'd be cool. Godzilla lunch box, Gorgo lunch box. But that's it. If you do enjoy these videos, as always, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not. We're trying to get to 2,000. We're getting close. But this is if we can get pushed over that 2,000 mark. Be sure to hit the bell for notifications for videos. Be sure to like, comment, and please share this video. And again, don't forget to go check out, go to the Facebook page, like the Facebook page, and check out the photos there. Thanks again. Have a great Tuesday.